And betting firm Betin has reiterated that the reason it had to close shop in Kenya is because of malice by government. In a statement, the firm terms the government policies regarding the industry as punitive, destructive and unprecedented. Betin says the tax regime imposed made it difficult to conduct business in the country. The company has singled out the 20% withholding tax and the proposed 20% excise duty as some of the stringent rules through which the government forced it to shut down. Interior CS Fred Matiangi last week said that Kenya uh, has been moving over 200 billion shillings out of the economy every year through gambling. He added that the activity is destroying the people of Kenya and he has never been more resolute than he is on this. Now the CS argues that no country on earth is built on gambling. Bettin says that at least 2,700 Kenyans have been rendered jobless through the state's actions.